did. Well, if you want to take it to the next level, not 350 watts, how about 1,600 or 1,560 watts of power? Five times the power, which is why you can do absolutely anything and everything. You're going to love it. It's our next presentation of our best value of the day from Blendtec. Here we go. Turn it on, hit the button, and watch. Come on. Here we go. There it is. Just took me a sec to see it. Watch how that sucks down everything into that jar. You would never normally fill uh, your container that big, but we have no worries when it comes to Blendtec because this is raw, perfect power. Look at how it kicks up, and it's gonna make the most beautiful, amazing drink. I'm gonna turn it off just so we can talk. It's gonna make the most amazing smoothie. It is a brand new exclusive configuration, everybody, and everything that's out here, all these meals, we were able to make with our Blendtec machine. We've got puddings here. We have a chia pudding over here. We have black bean hummus. We have zucchini nut muffins. We made salsa over here. You can make dressings for your salads over there. Uh, we did a bread doughs. We did energy bites. We did, here's the hummus. You can do soups, nut butters, homemade peanut butter, almond butter. You can do all that. You can make almond milks, all that, just using this machine. So let me talk about the value. And this is worth every penny of it. You know, there's a great, there's great machines out there that are six, $700 machines. You can go and spend $579 if you try to pick this up. Everything that we're including today, because we're giving you the Go Jar for the first time, $579 value. Or today you can get it for $299. This is not a machine you're ever gonna put away. This is a machine you're gonna keep out because it's gonna enable you to make foods for breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, it's gonna allow you to make bread doughs, it's gonna allow you to make ground, ground meat. It is super duper powerful, because think about what I said. 350 watt blender, that's the average bar blender. 1560 watt, this is a three horsepower motor. This is a motor like most lawnmowers have, okay? It is extremely powerful, it's beautifully designed. You'll notice even the shape is better, it, it allows for more capacity. All right, rather than a big, tall thing, it's perfectly um, created with four sides. It accesses everything. The, the uh, beater blades on the bottom access everything inside. It is a Triton vessel. That's what goes on top, which is virtually indestructible. You're not going to see it. It's not going to turn um, sort of opaque after a while. It's not going to get scrape marks in it, which holds bacteria. It's going to stay uh, fresh and clean for you. It has eight speeds and six cycles. It comes with the Go Jar. It's the first time that we've done the Go Jar, so you can make your frozen drink, whatever it is, your smoothie, your blended drink, your juice, and you can take it with you on the go. We give you some recipes to go along with it. You have your choice of colors, and I wanna make sure I get every single one right. So white is brand new and exclusive. Sea foam, exclusive. You can only find that here. In addition to that, you also have, uh, in the middle we have pomegranate right there. Over in the end is black. And then over here is what we're calling slate gray. They all work the same, but you can pick whatever color you have right now. It comes with an owner's manual, which has got some ideas in there for you. We also have a great recipe booklet that we're offering separately. But let me just tell you, and, I, and I'm one of those people that thinks, okay, I, I, you know, I, was, I had a blender for a long time. I only used it for a couple things. When you can do everything with a blender, that you can do with a, with seven or eight other appliances, this is the one that you want. And you're not gonna have to spend five or $600 on it. So come on over and we're gonna show you how it works. Casey Savage is here. Hello. It's Good been morning. a while since I've gotten to work with you. I love working with you because you get it. Uh, you know what, it, here's the deal. I, and, and as I said before, Casey, it's, I used to buy, there's a very famous bar blender out there. It has yeah. it's one name. You probably know yep. who it is because yep. with a W, you know who they are. Yep. And it's a great blender. It's an industrial blender. It's about 350 watts of power. Just enough to turn ice into like a frozen drink. That's all it does. <laughs> yeah. And you buy that for one thing. Literally, we didn't use it for anything else. This does everything. And I want to convince you what you already know, that yeah. this is an essential in your kitchen. It's not a gadget. And blenders get a bad rap because up until Blendtec, they don't perform, they don't deliver. This right. is the world's most advanced blender and here's why. Watch what I'm putting in this one whole juice. And yeah, it does whole juices, so that replaces a juicer. Yeah, with the fiber, with which the is pulp. the way to drink exactly. juice. Exactly, <laughs> that's the good stuff. Oh my God. Grapes, spinach, hunk of pineapple Seeds with core, cantaloupe with the seeds, strawberries with the greens, apple with a little bit of core in there. 
fuzz on my kiwi. Why not? You're not going to taste it. If you're chewing your smoothie at home, if you're crunching through that ice, yeah. you don't have a Blendtec blender. That's just the simple fact. And she's overfilling it. Okay? Overfilling you never it. never do that with a traditional blender. <laughs> yeah. I always say try this at home with your current blender and you'll be picking up on a Blendtec in no time. <laughs> no smoke coming out of this motor. Six presets. This has been engineered for perfection. You press one button, whether it's batters, frozen drinks, or crushed ice, smoothies, whole juices, uh, sorry, ice cream, whole juices, soups. You can pulse mode as well. I'm pressing whole juices. And watch this, Guy, you and I can go for a little yeah. stroll. We can go for a walk. We can pick up our phone. We can make a call. We could post this to Instagram. And I wanna tell you something. This doesn't have a stir stick. This don't need doesn't, it. You don't need it. Spatula, don't need it. This doesn't have a round jar. It has a square jar. Blendtec invented the square jar. So when you're at your favorite smoothie shop yeah. and you see that square jar, Blendtec. In fact, 30,000 professional restaurants, smoothie shops, coffee shops all around the globe use Blendtec blenders and they're made in Orem, Utah. Yeah. Family owned business, 400 um, employees working in there, families that are being supported. With an, look at the entrance, by and the it's way. Like it's a square. giant blender <laughs> jar, which is awesome. I love it. Plunger free, easy to clean. You talked about the Triton. That's one of the most durable materials out there on the marketplace. Virtually shatter resistant and stain resistant as well. Dishwasher safe on the top rack. Everything in Orem, Utah is totally automated. And I love the fact that we're talking about high tech, high performance, high engineering. If you're a gadget person in terms terms of science and technology, you will love this. If you're a foodie, you'll love it even more. If you're a parent, this is your way to get those fruits and veggies into your diet and oh your my kids. Gosh, look at what you made. Okay. Completely pureed, completely smooth. Remember what I put Watch. in here? The spinach leaves? The seeds were Where in Where are she, they? She didn't take the cantaloupe seeds out. You, you gotta realize how much good <laughs> stuff is in seeds. Yeah, and where's the fuzz from the kiwi or the green it's stems on the strawberries? It's all in here, but it is completely pulverized. My mouth is wide. You know, it's funny oh. when you're here, normally we think of like steaks and burgers. <laughs> My mouth waters when you make juices. Yeah, because they it's are... so good for you. Now try that. It's got the pulp, it's got the fiber. I'm going to prove to you that this has just replaced your juicer. It'll replace your um, stand mixer, your Anybody version blender. Anybody that tasted this would buy this. Even if Anyone you, out there, yeah. if you could taste this, You're what right. I'm tasting right now, <laughs> yeah. you would buy it easily. I know you can't. Try to have a little trust. Maybe you got 30 days to return it. So, but I want you, and we have recipes, we have a recipe book that we're offering too, but I am telling you that is, like if I went to a juice place, I'd pay six, seven bucks for that. Plus tip. Yeah. Here you're doing it in your own home. Now, check this out. This mm. is the first time we've ever included the go jar. The go jar is genius and as the name says, it's for drinks on the go. So I've filled up this little go jar, sits right on top of the base. Give it a whirl. This is your classic protein shake. So you're yeah. coming back from the gym, you want your protein shake, you can whip it up. Now, do you hear how it went down and then it revs back up again? One thing I want to point out to you is that is not a defect. Don't bother calling customer service and saying, hey, why is my Blendtec blender revving up and revving down? It's been engineered to give you perfect results. Your Blendtec blender knows when to rev up, when to rev down to give you perfect results. So check this out. You just pop off that micronizing blade on the top and then oh gosh, you've got that so thick, good. delicious protein shake. <laughs> smells like shape. peanut butter and chocolate. There you go. <laughs> Grab it and That's go. That's the go jar that everybody gets. So we, and I will tell you something. What's so wonderful about smoothies like this versus juices? Because let me, yeah. first of all, I don't like waiting for the juice part. It takes forever. <laughs> yeah. Plus, Listen, I want the fiber. I, I mean, th that's what's cleaning your system out. It's important to have that. Mm -hmm. The juice is great, don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you not to juice, but you need to get some fiber in your diet, and, and it's full of vitamins. It, it's the best, I mean, before you go and buy a package mix, you need to make it yourself, and you don't need 10 ingredients. You can put three or four things in there, and you can hide things like broccoli and spinach and zucchini and things your kids won't drink. They won't even know it's in there. Put some, put, put a little peanut butter protein powder in there. That'll, that'll cover everything. Yeah. But the flavor and the nutrition is tops. And you know, Valentine's Day is Friday. Yeah. The gift of good health is yeah. the best gift of love that you can give to your family and your kids. Don't try this at home unless you have a Blendtec blender. Yeah. Put your hand in there. This is something you would never do with any other blender. Tell me how that blade feels. It's not, sh it's heavy, but it's not sharp. It's not 
sharp. Not only does that make it safe to clean because you don't have that razor blade inside of here, but here's the reason why Blendtec has a blunt blade. Sharp blades are compensating for weak motors. You talked about that 1,560 watt motor, three peak horsepower. What's an easier way to crush through a slab of ice? With a little razor blade or with a mallet just exactly. chopping away? If you were cracking nuts, would you use a knife? <laughs> Yeah. No, you use a hammer, yeah. right? Think about it. It's it, You use a hammer. This hammers through any mm -hmm. of the toughest seeds and breaks them apart. And when it does that, rather than your body, body swallowing a seed and having it go right through, it breaks the seed. It yes. allows all the nutrition that's in the seed, where all the nutrition is. That's Remember, that it's a seed, so it keeps that in there so it'll go on the ground and grow. Instead, it breaks open, and you're absorbing that nutrition exactly. rather than flushing through your body. That's why Casey put in all the all the, the pits, everything. She doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be neutralized and smashed into a smooth, delicious drink for you because of the way the design is on that blade. Okay, does your blender at home do this? Unless it's a blend tag making? blender, it doesn't. I'm using this as a grain mill, but to show you how powerful this square... Are you going to make flour? I'm going to turn <laughs> rice into rice flour, but look at how little I put in here. It's actually under the blade, and check this out. Power it on. I'm going to fire up the power on there. Watch it, watch it, watch it. It literally picks up the rice from I forgot under about that. the blade. Like, I forgot about that demo. That's like one of my yeah, favorite you love demos. This stuff. Yeah, because you think it's on the ground, it's not gonna lift up. There's no way if you have a blender at home, try this. I mean, it would be hilarious to see a blender at home that is with awesome. rice under the blade. And then in seconds, it doesn't matter if you're putting corn in here to turn it into cornmeal, <gasps> wheat berries into oh, wheat flour. Dried corn into cornmeal. That Fresh. Would be awesome ingredients that you have control over. So whether or not your 2020 resolution wow, was to go awesome. gluten-free sure. or whether you have to for dietary reasons, you now have the ability to control what you put in your body. That is amazing. And you're not paying a premium for you, it. If you love nut butters and you want to do it yourself, you want to make almond butter, you want to make yes. cashew butter, you want to make peanut butter, you can do it yourself inside here. Remember that blade design and the way that it turns itself on and off. It's the same as if with your traditional blender, you turn it off and you scrape it and you turn it off and you scrape it. You don't have to do that with this because of the way it's designed. It does it, it all that does, it, it does it itself. It turns itself down, mm -hmm. then it cranks. It allows the mix to sink because when you agitate nuts and things like that, they, they raise up. They, they come, it slows down, they come back down to where the blade uh, chops them up again. It, it's unbelievable. Okay, but does it crush ice? Because that's what is the crux of any amazing frozen drink, is crushed ice. Can it crush ice? Take a look at this as I power this up. It'll take about five seconds. Grabs the ice, draws it back down to the middle. That's the square jar, but is it little chunks of ice? What do we have in here, guys? Ice powder. Snow! <laughs> we have snow in here. Check this out. That it's is powdery amazing. perfection. And why it's like is that important? Ice. It's exactly. Right? Do you know they sell actual, I used to have one, an actual machine that only makes margaritas. Yeah. And it was almost double the price sure. of what you're paying well, here. Casey, let me tell you, you know, there's other brands on the market that yeah. are double the price of this. Mm -hmm. And they're good machines. Don't they get me are. wrong. They don't have Triton. No. They don't use Triton. And Triton, to me, this, this uh, blending vessel will always stay clear. It's not going to fog up. It's not going to get BPA the marks. BPA-free, BPA which is so free. important. You rinse it out. I, you, you, I never even wash mine. I just rinse it out. You know, put a little bit, of, I can, you can put a little soapy water in there, but it never goes in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, because you use it all the time. You're going to keep this up on your counter and you're not gonna use it just for a smoothie or a frozen pina colada. You're gonna use it to feed your family. Mm. You can make soups in here. Yes. I mean, we're, we're, we've got so much, it, it has, it's so powerful, it'll actually make and heat soup without any separate heating button. It's just by the agitation and the revolutions that it'll create that energy. I mean, to me, hands down, and, and like I said, I was, I was about 18 years in the restaurant business if this was around back then, and, and, and you know, I could have gotten it back then, I, this is all I would have because we would replace that blender every year. And do you know why? Because it was an inferior blender, but also most blenders have plastic drive sockets, yeah. and that's the first thing that goes. Not with Blendtec. We're talking about a steel drive socket. This right here is the key to why your blender smells like smoke, yeah. to why your blender overheats, to why your blender stops working after a year. And, you know, we get into that cycle of replacing 
replacing a blender every couple of years and just thinking, well, gears. I guess that I yeah. guess that's just what you do. Not the case. At the Blendtec facility in Orem, Utah, Tom Dixon, the creator, back in the 70s, you know what he got for his wedding? A blender. A shoddy blender. And he said, I am going to make it my life's mission to create the world's most advanced blender so that nobody ever has to say again, I have to buy a new blender. Eight year warranty. You think about your life eight years from now and how many amazing, wholesome, delicious recipes that you will make in those eight years, plus, 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 it's amazing. And this is, these are the motors and how they're put together. You know, they I love are. that this is a family company. Yes. And I love they take such pride in this machine, it's, mm -hmm. I mean, it's everything to them, right? You know, it's not its not part of a conglomerate owned by another thing, blah, 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 and it all gets handed down. This is yeah. a family-owned business that everything they do and their, and their success is based on the quality of the product mm -hmm. itself. So they really put a lot into it. The, the, the all-metal gears, I mean, you wouldn't buy a car that had half metal, half plastic, <laughs> or half rubber <laughs> gears. Well, yeah. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Metal on metal, that, that's what keeps the drive so solid. And when you put metal with rubber, if it skips a beat, you're gonna smell rubber burning. That when, you, when, when the average blender goes out, what do you smell? You smell burnt rubber and you look down and you see it's wearing. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna happen with this. No, this is perfection in engineering. Anyone who's an engineering fan looks at this and goes, wow, yeah, this is an amazing it. blender. Yep. Okay, you're getting the Gojar first time ever that the Gojar is included. This is perfect because this is what our li lives are all about now is get up and go. But here's your Gojar. How cool is this? You can put a 16 ounce party cup in your Gojar and cater to, and never even dirty the go jar, and create custom smoothies, drinks, coffees, whatever it is. So here I've got a smoothie with berries and banana because I've got a kid that loves banana. And then you've yeah, always yeah. got that other kid, right? That's like, ew, I don't want any banana. So now you can take <laughs> another party cup, and I'm going to show you these at the same time. Pop in all of your berries, frozen berries, no banana. I was joking last night that, you know, you could basically start up your own smoothie business with this because oh, it's easily. commercial quality. Yeah, there's, there's a really great restaurant downtown in St. Pete. Yeah. And they have this. They actually, oh. they have, I have a bunch of, they have like four of, of them. Of course, yeah. And I, I, I saw it when I was there with my brother last time and I'm like, oh man, I'm like, we sell that blender. There's That's the Blendtec. There's the Blendtec. Yeah. And these are people that make, uh, I mean, probably they probably make 500 to 1,000 smoothies a day at this place. It's you, that crowded. You know what? When you're in the restaurant business, you can't mess around with a shoddy blender. If this is good enough for the pros, ask yourself, like, this yeah. has got to be top-notch. This is the 650 as well. The Designer 650 is a top of the line in the echelon of blenders at Blendtec. You're not getting the base model here. This is the Designer series. And you did that Watch in a... This. You, look, you put that in a plastic cup. How great is that, what? guy? That's a grab and go for you. That's the banana free one. And guess what? Your go jar is perfectly did just, clean. Did you put cream in there? No. Isn't it that tastes incredible? like ice cream. Doesn't it? <laughs> it's the texture that, of those frozen how, berries. That's the texture. It is light. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's no cream in here. You will swear there's dairy in here. You really will. Yes. You'll be like, somebody put a scoop of ice cream in there. Yep. That's how light and fluffy. And the way it does that, you have such a powerful motor that it incorporates so much air into mm -hmm. this. Right? So you get this dense, I mean, it's, it's, which makes it light. See, cream makes things heavy, but it makes things creamy. Yeah. The way this works, it makes things taste like they're creamy without all that bulk. So you're also gonna not feel like, oh, I just, I just, we you know when you have to eat a, do you drink a milkshake? You wish you hadn't yeah, drank it? Yeah, and then you're like, why did I do that? You're like, why that? did I do that? Oh, Maybe regrets. I shouldn't have had that triple cheeseburger <laughs> yeah. right with it too. Yeah. But. yeah, no, I'm gonna show you actually coming right up a bulletproof, keto bulletproof chocolate shake that's using avocado for the cream factor. Think of those healthy omegas. Okay, I've got three teenage sons. I do not want to see another boxed macaroni in my house because it's to. convenient. How long does it take to make that? Maybe 15, 20 minutes, you get the stove going. Here I've got homemade cheese sauce for my pasta using just some warmed up milk I've got some cheese cubes in here. I didn't even have to get out a box grater. Going to add some salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. You wanna see fast and easy cheese sauce that doesn't even require a stove top? Check this out. Crank up the power. Now watch as your square jar creates friction. Why is it square? Because we know that round jars give you the, it's called cavitation, where you see that all the ingredients blast to the outside walls and the blade just spins yeah. with no ingredients down in the middle. 
here you have square walls, which force the ingredients down to the Back center the blade. Yeah. So I don't need that stir stick. I don't have to stop my blender. If you have to stop your blender at home three times to stir up those ingredients, guess what? It's not a blend tech. Now check this out, okay? Oh, you got me here. <laughs> Can I just? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you gotta smell that. It's just cheesy. Unbelievable. You were in the restaurant business. Yeah. To make a cheese sauce, you've got your roux, uh, you've got your butter and your flour and you're stirring. Yeah. This doesn't even have flour and, in and it. And we never, listen, you know, we never had to put this on the stove, all right? You just prep it. Look at how thick oh. it is. It's so thick. <laughs> what, are you kidding me? Okay. We, this is called, you need a close-up on this. Oh Look at Lord. how cheesy and delicious this looks. Super, super creamy. It does come with this spatula as well. <sighs> hey, kids, you want macaroni and cheese? I'll give you macaroni and cheese. Then I'm just going to, you know, you know me. I'm a mom. I have to always add, like, a little bit of greenery on top so it looks <laughs> a little bit healthy. What? Did, what? You, did you lick, the, did you lick the, the spectacular spoonula? No. I didn't. Give that a little taste. That's a reason alone <laughs> to pick up on a Blendtec blender. Let me blender. tell you, that is like, that is an incredible, you know what's funny? I love, you know the cheese cubes you use? Don't, yeah. don't put that product down, that stuff is great. <laughs> yeah. But when you mix it up and you heat it properly, I mean this is, look at how thick that is, it won't even slide off the mm. spatula. Oh my gosh, imagine Unbelievable. just tweaking a couple ingredients, adding some jalapenos, you've got a queso sauce. That is Would just, that not be incredible? Oh Maybe use God. like a Mexican cheese, yeah, yeah, yeah. add some jalapeno. You could do, <sighs> now I mean, think about it. Here. Think about that or, or any of the dressings you love. Mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to manage a restaurant called Onion Alley and it was a big onion themed restaurant and we would make a creamy Ooh. green onion dressing. I love an onion themed restaurant. Oh, it was cool. Cause you know, yeah. onions, garlic is an onion too. Exactly. So we would have garlic in there and we made a creamy green onion. It would take forever for the chefs to make it. You could do it all right in there. You could even chop your onions in about three seconds using your Blendtec blender. Anyone who's doing keto, you know how hard it is to accommodate your diet. You go out there, you're always asking, is this keto, is this keto? Instead of annoying your friends and family by always saying, is this wow. keto, is that keto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing your own keto recipes. We've got avocado in here. You wanna see a thick shake? You talk about the one that makes you feel bloated and gross because of all the dairy. Check this out. We don't have any dairy in here whatsoever. This thick, delicious keto shake has oh, chia in it. It's got avocado oh, in there. I gotta try that one. Does that not look ridiculously yeah. good? Cocoa powder, go it's for so it. It's so pretty, I don't wanna mess it up, but I'm gonna anyway, I don't care. You know what, that's gonna be tough to get through the straw because that is just thick and delicious. Another <laughs> reason. Hey, now you've got your milkshakes, you've got your this cheese is, You sauce. said there's no dairy in here? No, that's the so, avocado. So this, if I got this, at an ice cream place. Yeah. I would I would be like, that is ridiculously good. Yeah. I can't believe there's no dairy in here. I know. Wow. It used to be I can't believe it's not butter. Now it's no. I can't believe that is so good. <laughs> also some coconut um, oil in there as well. Get, I gotta get the recipe for that. Okay, one. let's let's just get a soup going. Soup's okay. on. Speaking of restaurant biz and soups, you know how long it takes to make a delicious soup. I'm talking about fresh raw ingredients right out of your crisper to serve. Wow in a bowl within three minutes, and it heats itself up. How? The friction and the power of that blade. So I'm putting in a little bit of vegetable stock, tomatoes, red peppers, Is that basil, basil in there too? Yeah, Yum. I'm going to add some salt, pepper, and a little bit of paprika in there. Pop the lid on top. Hey, that lid, it requires you to put a little bit of force to lock it in place because it is so powerful. One press, and then I've got that little soup button, that little soup icon. You've got your presets with your Blendtec blender. That makes it so easy. When you've got your presets, you know that you don't have any guesswork. It's perfect. There it goes. How All good right. is that? Yeah, uh, it's up. Now we're gonna let that sit a bit. I'm gonna walk away and I wanna show you the colors one more time because I will tell you, pomegranate is in the lead. That's the one that's gonna sell out first. Um, if you would like an exclusive color, choose seafoam or the brand new white. Remember we give you the go jar to go with it. Um, so white, seafoam, pomegranate, that's black. And it also comes in the slate gray. Uh, it comes with uh, some instructions. It's very simple to use. We also have that great cookbook and we also have our um, twister jar available. And we're gonna put the item number up for the twister jar. If you wanna get that as well, that's great if you're making nut butters and things like that because it's got the built-in spatulas uh, and that's why you twist it. Um, that's available and we'll have our producer Kevin pop that up in just a sec for you. But if you buy today, $2.99 is the price, not $4.99, $200 off. Here's the value. 
Only $49 on FlexPay, six flex with free shipping. Today is the day to buy this. It is not, it is not a blender per se. It is a multi-prep food machine. It's gonna do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's gonna do soups, it's gonna do nut butters, it's gonna do smoothies. It'll, do, it'll be your juicer, it'll, do your, it'll be your frozen drink maker. We're making a soup right now. You can grind in here. If you wanna grind beef or chicken or whatever it is, or ham, you can make salads in here. We made hummus. You could do salad dressings. I mean, it, that's why when we say it does everything. It's an everything we, machine. I mean, we, look, we, we have a whole studio, <laughs> and we got like, what, eight, nine, 10, 11 machines here. We can just keep going because the amount of food that you can make, and like I said, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, mm -hmm. and here's the thing. When you have power like this, you can take ordinary things which are healthy and turn them into things that taste like they shouldn't be good for you. But yeah. they're a mint, like, right? Like exhibit A over here. I'm about to make ice cream with vegetables and it's going to taste right. look, what you, look at what's in the bowl. Look what she, this is gonna, this, she's got avocado, is that cabbage? Yeah. Carrots? It's cabbage. This is gonna be an ice cream. So if, you're, if you wanna give this to your kids every day of the week, <laughs> you go ahead. Okay, orange creamsicle ice cream, by far, a fan favorite. We've got a, a little bit of cream, some orange extract. I top it up with ice on top. Hey, instead of taking the family out for ice cream where you all feel a little bit, ooh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. How about making a creamsicle flavored ice cream that's actually good for you? Guess what, kids? It's ice cream for breakfast. Hit one button and it's that little ice cream cone button and away it goes. Now here's, here's something that I hear a lot from people. I love reading the reviews, tons of five-star reviews reviews. Some people say, you know what? It's louder than I thought. Does a Ferrari make noise? <laughs> Do you want it to sound like yeah. an electric car? Because right. it's not going to happen. No. If I have you no want issue. performance, I have no issue with that. it's going to be loud. But it's loud and proud because this is a three-peak horsepower, 1,560-watt motor, and you get results in no time. So not only is my soup ready, but my ice cream's ready. And the reason I do these two together is to show you that we can do hot in three minutes and we can do ice cream cold in just a little minute or so. So take a look at that. You know you're my sampler. Oh, you're, you you're know, yeah, yeah, no buds. issues here. I'm you're, the perfect person. Now, <laughs> if you want to have this set up like traditional ice cream, put it in a container and put it in the freezer. That's all you need to do and it'll firm up to the point where you yeah, get a lot of people like their ice cream like traditional in cones, but you can eat it right out of here. It still mm. will Scoop, um, and 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 the uh, the results, the creaminess. I gotta get a spoon. Look at this. Okay, now I'm gonna take it out of here. No, you can go for uh, I'm this. I'm going right now, in on top. You are the taste buds of America right now. Going, that lady put carrots and cabbage and avocado in an ice cream. That cannot be good. You know what it tastes like? Exactly. Creamsicle. Yeah, an orange creamsicle. <laughs> Tastes like a creamsicle. And like do you exactly. see? Do you see any wow. evidence for all parents out there that are like, huh? I could really get my family mm. to eat cabbage. Do you see any evidence of cabbage in there? I no, get, you don't. Yeah, your your children will never no. know that you put cabbage and carrots in there. <laughs> and you know what? The other thing is that's great, Casey. The cost on that on that quart of ice cream you just made is probably 25 or 35 cents. Yeah, you would find that at a, at a healthy food type of shop. It would probably yeah. be $12 for yeah. like a little quart of it, and yeah. it would be filled with all sorts of additives. Everything you're making in your Blendtec blender look, is look, look, fresh. Look, look at that, look at that steam. We, there, now, we didn't heat this. No. This is the natural, the, the, the incredible power moves so fast mm -hmm. that it generates and creates enough heat to create a soup. So if you love, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the mm. cream soups too, and, and you can do those. You could do a cauliflower soup and not even have to put cream in it. Nope. Cauliflower and chicken stock, it'll taste like you put cream in it, right? And that's a great soup. Mushroom Tomato soup. Tomato basil soup, mushroom soup. Blendtec has a famous tortilla soup. Thousands of recipes are on Blendtec's website. Easy for you to click. You can look it up by it's ingredient phenomenal. in your household. You know, all I've got are tomatoes. What can I do? It'll give you that's all those really recipes good. you're looking for. I love tomato soup. That's great. And isn't yeah. it great that you have control over what you're eating. I haven't added <clears throat> salt to these recipes unless I want to. We can even well, like sc scoot on down here. You know what it amazes me too is that people, they, they sit there and they say, well, you know, I, I was gonna get a blender but it takes up so much space. Yeah. How much space does your oven take up? Right? I mean, you got an oven that's that big, and how many times do you use it? Yeah, you probably use it exactly. maybe a couple times a week, but you don't, you don't complain about that, right? You're like, oh, it's <laughs> a, this is, well, you're gonna use this 10 times more. This needs to be out. This needs to be something, because if you see it, you'll use it, 
right? I mean, I can't tell you, I got two waffle irons, you know why? Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't know I had another one. I, I make waffles twice a year. Because you didn't even know, you hide no. it away. You don't have to tuck this away. And see that little drip on the front here? I want to show you something. Not only does it count down the seconds until it's ready, but it's easy to clean. You just have to give it a little wipe and away you go. Yeah, Gone and if that was buttons, people. they would go in the machine, right? If you How had little buttons. How gross is that? How yeah, gross is that? This is all about keeping it clean, fresh, healthy. Here's your iced coffee. Guess what? You don't have to line up with a bunch of bleary-eyed people at that favorite coffee shop anymore. You are making it your way every single morning, making it fresh because it comes with that go jar. Wow. If you want to drill it, go with it. Every single thing you've made, and, I, and let me tell you, I mean, I, like I said, I've got I've got pretty sophisticated taste buds. <laughs> I, I was, was in the restaurants say. for years. Everything I would pay in a restaurant for. Exactly. Everyone, I would say, or in, a, or in a coffee shop or whatever, I'd be like, yeah, this is fantastic. I mean, these yeah. are not, we're not fudging recipes here. We are making food with real food. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because if you go to any of the top restaurants in, in the world, yeah. what is the first thing a chef is going to say to you? Fresh ingredients. Ex yeah. Locally sourced, fresh ingredients, okay? Because, and that's the key. Even, even if you're using frozen strawberries and you can get the organic, get them. And then make something that is out of this world. Your, your family is gonna love it because a lot of times you eat packaged foods mm -hmm. or pre-processed foods and they add so much to it to cover up the fact that it's not fresh. Read the labels. Guess yeah. what? Do you wanna know what's in this citrus berry smoothie? Some citrus and some berries. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Except I've got a 90 ounce capacity on this. Instead of paying a fortune for 10 ounces, or 12 ounces at my favorite smoothie shop, who, by the way, is using Blendtec behind the scenes. T check it out next time you're in a coffee shop, smoothie shop, restaurant. What are they using? Blendtec blenders. So I've got this incredible, delicious berry smoothie, and you don't even have to turn it off because it turns itself off when it's done. But check out the beautiful, vibrant colors. Where are the lum lumps and chunks? My in-laws, I think it's despite me, have an inferior blender and they just sit there all summer chewing on their smoothies, you know what's, crunching you know on what's their ice. what's killing me right now is that I have, I have a really cool sports blender, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it never gets that color. Isn't that mine, cool? mine never gets that, that and it wouldn't. fresh. Because it, and and there's at the bottom of, of the, my sports blender, yeah. all the seeds. I mean, it breaks um, some of them down, but, yeah. but it's mostly seeds and it's part, I can see parts of the fruit that didn't go through, yep. chunks of the protein powder that didn't get mixed in. Remember, you're never gonna have to agitate or stir these, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're, you're getting the, the go jar for the first time. That go jar is fantastic because you can take anything with you. Don't tell me you don't have time in the morning to make a shake. If you got time to make a cup of coffee, if you got time to brush your teeth, <laughs> you got time to make one of these. Yeah. And when you get to work, not only do you look cool because everybody's like, man, look, they got it going on. She's bringing her own shakes and stuff. You have that for lunch instead of a full out nasty quick meal, yeah. you are gonna feel so good because it's gonna feed your body the way it should be naturally. And you're not gonna go through the spikes and the crashes that you have when you you know, you know snack and things like that. Plus the reason that I got into, and I do the full shake, I don't do, I don't juice anymore because yeah. I want all the fiber. It fills me up. You are, you know what? When you eat healthy and you're getting the right balanced nutrition that your yeah. body needs, you don't have those cravings anymore. Everyone loves elixirs. Everyone is into turmeric. It's anti-inflammatory. It's oh, amazing wow. for you. I've got goji berries, green tea, another antioxidant yeah. right there. Turmeric. Talk about a powerful combination. And all I do is I press one little button and I'm using that go jar. Now listen, it starts out nice and low. Yeah. That's normal. I don't have any hands. You talked about if you have time to brush your teeth, you can go brush your teeth. Well, I guess you wouldn't want to brush your teeth while this is going. You don't That's want to have right. toothpaste breath. Yeah. But the bottom line is you can make this, go brush your teeth, come back, it shuts itself off. You don't have to guess, what setting do I use? Is it emulsify, oh is it God. purify, is you it guys, liquefy? You know, it, it's like Blendtec, and, I, and I, I've used this analogy before. Blendtec went up on a chalkboard and they said, yeah. okay, what sucks about a regular blender? <laughs> yes, they and, did. and the number one thing that I, that I love is, is when, you, when we're talking about the original mixing uh, vessel that it's square, who would have thought of that? That that if you make something round, it's just yeah. gonna it's just gonna go round and round and round. It's not gonna <laughs> run into any corners, so that's why nothing mixes in the exactly. middle. And you gotta turn it off. Yep. When you make it square, it crashes into a corner and it comes back. Mm -hmm. So it, your your stuff is getting fully mixed. I mean, this is this is what the shape should be, yeah. which is why a lot of other companies took that lead from you they guys and <laughs> they were like oh yeah and guess what happened to those companies yeah exactly they had to retract those square jars pretty quickly yeah. because they get hey you know what <laughs>
Run Deck is a really cool, I, some I great totally ideas know. here. I totally know. I get so it. So we've got butter, we've got eggs, flour, cocoa powder, sugar, brownies. What haven't I proven to you yet? You can grind meat in here, you can grind vegetables. I'm showing you that you can do your baking, your breads in here as well. Do you wanna give this a try? Like how, just smell that, that turmeric elixir. I don't know if you can see from above. Can you look at the color? And it has almost like a, a crema, like this yeah. delicious froth so on top. I'm, I'm gonna hold it here, but I want you to, if you look on top and you'll see the, the, the color of that. Gorgeous. Uh, it's unbelievable. But you need to smell that and you need to taste it because oh, it's like instant gosh. goodness. While you're doing that, I call this the fudgy vortex of goodness with these brownies. You know what this is? This is like relaxing. <laughs> Do you want me no. to get you a chair? <laughs> I, I, um, I may fall asleep standing up. This, this is so, and I'm not, and I love turmeric, mm -hmm. but I'm not a, t a big tea guy. Isn't this, that incredible? It's unbelievable. You just automatically feel healthier. kind of dense brownie batter and not a problem in your blend out. Yeah, take Can that lid right it? off. I want everybody to look. To look. And, I, and I, let me God, get it Turn going. it back on. Watch. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Okay, take a look. And you'll see, see the ingredients. Look, ah. see, they're going to eventually incorporate. We would use a little more time look at to that. get the residual powder in there. But we're, you know, we're on TV, so we're going quick. But I am telling Check you, you don't out. have to, you don't have to mess with it. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> we even had chocolate chip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, if you were watching, I would have totally eaten that. We will be licking that spoon Yeah, afterwards. totally. Okay. All right, I, five minutes left. Five, five minutes. minutes left. Remember, $49 gets it home, free shipping and handling. Mm -hmm. We Our price is $200 off today. $200 off. I know you've seen the fancy blenders out there, all, all good blenders, all that stuff, but, but yeah. who's got $600 to spend on a blender? I don't. This I can afford because I'm going to break up the payments and I'm gonna use it every day. And think about the things you can make. I, I, you, you put that thing in my head about making corn flour or corn or to do cor I'm going to do cornmeal. Yeah, I, I, I love cornmeal. It's a great product. Um, and you can just buy bags of dried out corn like we did, popcorn, right? Popping so, corn, get pop, exactly. Get popping corn. And you can make tortillas, you know, masa for tortillas. Yeah. Um, you know, if you wanna make cornbread, I make the, uh, this killer cornbread. I make cornbread. iron skillet cornbread okay, come on. by taking this corn, which I'll show you in one You know what the key to good cornbread is, right? What's key to good cornbread? Butter. Yeah, a lot of pieces <laughs> corn in my ear. You gotta use a, a thing of cream corn. Cream, cream corn's corn. good, and I, and I also shuck fresh corn off the cob and put it in there too. I'm just saying. And you put honey in there. Okay, check this out. It's All right, make me some loud, corn flour. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna step we away, can... go ahead. Popping corn. It's basically the equivalent of like rocks. But do you see it scratching that jar? That is no, awesome. you don't. Blendtec blenders can handle the toughest ingredients and get the job done for you. Whether you're using it as a green mill, a meat grinder, an ice cream maker, a soup maker, a coffee grinder, a juicer, if you're using it to make your smoothies, your dressings, your soups, what cannot, what can't this do? I don't know. But I want to show oh, you that we cool. took corn and turned it into corn oh, meal. Lord, look at How this, amazing everybody. is that? Look. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> Isn't that, that great? That's how it works. That's how powerful that machine is. So it if I wanted to go and make tortillas, or if you wanted to make polenta or polenta cakes, uh, right? You know, I mean, you are you have already done it. And you know what I love too? It hasn't been sitting in a bag in a box for six yeah. months on the store. And you know what the best part is? You can literally take those fresh ingredients out of your pantry and and turn them fresh on demand as you need them. I'll take sometimes recipes call for icing sugar, confectioner's sugar. Yeah. Get your granulated sugar, pop it in your, make your own. blender, make your own and make what you need. You don't have to buy a giant bag of it. It's just pennies. So this actually saves you money in the long run, helps you to be healthier. It has an eight year warranty in it, made in the USA, top to tail, every facet of it. Look at this almond milk. We talk about milk dairy alternatives. Have you ever seen almond milk that looks this creamy using just water and almonds and a little bit of sea salt? I'm gonna try this too. Check I gotta try this. this out. I, I don't care how Nothing's much you love separated. dairy. You look at that and suddenly you're a convert when it comes to almond milk. Incredible. Isn't uh, that good? I've never tasted creamier. anything that tastes better than that, like it's in amazing. an almond milk. And, and you know what else? It's got that thickness and that richness too. Yeah. You can add almond milk to anything and make it taste creamy. And it's almonds. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so good for you. Yep. Um, no matter what you want to do with this, get it home. You're going to love it. 
it's going to grow with you. You're going to find out you can do so many different things with it. And desserts, appetizers, snacks. I'm doing fondue. So this is literally some warm milk and some chocolate. And I am turning this into fondue to dip my fruit into. No more double boiler. Yeah. No more worrying about that chocolate separating on the stove top. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Pop off that lid. Oh, yes, please. That looks pretty. Wow. Delicious. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what the pros use for a reason. The restaurant business, you can't mess around. This is commercial quality at home for you whenever you want it. All right, so let me show you the colors one more time. Pomegranate yeah. is in the lead. Pomegranate's beating everything. Um, if you want it, it's in the back here, pretty color. If you want exclusive uh, and new color, we have the white. It didn't come in that before, so we have that available. I love the design, how smooth this is. There's no buttons you have to deal with. It's all digital electronic inside, so nothing can get down in the buttons. You know, food gets down there, you just wipe it off. This is seafoam. Seafoam is also an exclusive color. <clears throat> have it in black. There's the pomegranate, and then it also comes in slate gray. Remember, everybody is going to get the go jar. So this is your jar to be able to take wherever you're gonna go, on the go, to work, uh, on, on trips, stuff like that, whatever. Take that with you. You get your owner's manual. We also have the twister jar. The twister jar, can we pull that up real quick, Kevin? The twister jar is made uh, for doing things that are a little more sticky. You said thicky and sticky. Thicky and sticky. You didn't That's say that for me. <laughs> thicky and sticky. Hey, I said it now. So the, the reason you want that one is it actually has two uh, stirs at, at the, on the perimeter inside and are in the interior, and those will scrape as, because, you know, nut butters are real thick, so those will scrape those um, as you go. There's the information on that. And then, Kevin, don't we also have a, um, a recipe book? Is that still available? So we have a recipe book, which I, I would get in a heartbeat. I mean, you're saving $200 off the machine, and the recipe book is filled mm. with lots of great ideas on how you can turn stuff. And, I mean, just fruits and veggies into the most amazing. That's, is that only 19 bucks? All right, and that's 100 of the juice and smoothie recipes, which a lot of people find, you know, on a daily basis, that's probably what you're gonna use this for is your smoothies. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you'll use it a few times a week to create meals and dressings and sauces, and I, I don't even know what this is. blueberry ice cream what while you were talking about colors. That's how fast this is. Blueberries. Blueberries, a little bit of cream. How delicious is that? That's ridiculous. Fresh, it really, I mean, it tastes homemade, it, like you're just eating blue, blue, blueberries. I mean, it's so. You better not be hungry after this show. Oh, I'm starving. I'm gonna eat everything. <laughs> All right, you're good. amazing, Casey. Yeah, we're gonna lick the spoon. <laughs> yeah. Stick around. Great uh, item coming up from Dash. Be right back. HSN. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Oh, I, smell, I smell good stuff cooking here, everybody. Welcome back. My name's Guy. I got another uh, last item in our, in our block for you that I wanted to show you. And I will tell you, coolest thing about this is a lot of people would love to have an electric skillet, but it's like, where am I going to put it? That thing's huge. I mean, it's skillet that big or big this, this. I have the perfect size electric skillet for you today from Dash. It is about, it, it's about four inches deep, perfect to be able to hold a good capacity, but it's not this big giant thing. It's perfect for like meals from like maybe two to four people, or if you want to cook for yourself. Um, it's, a, it's a great design from our friends uh, at Dash. It's called their mini electric skillet. Um, all uh, True Glide nonstick, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it up. Perfect for empty nesters or small dishes, or you're doing side dishes. Maybe you just want to make up a great batch of macaroni and cheese. Do it in here. It's perfect for quick meals. A Eggs, uh, frittatas, you want to do mini pizzas, stir fries, you can do it all in there and you never have to touch a pot or a pan. Kelly Diedring is I here. Know, Hi, Kelly. Do a ste so steak? 
chicken breast, piece of look salmon. It, look at she made. We made a single steak, so no longer, maybe, you know, you're just feeding yourself, or maybe you're the one that came home late from, you know, work or whatever, yeah. and you want a steak, and you're you doing keto, and you want that high protein, or you just want a single chicken breast, but there's no way you're gonna go out to the grill, right? Right. You can grab your tiny little eight inch electric oh, this skillet. this is adorable, I oh, love yeah. that. so look at the size of this. We call it our eight inch, but it's nice and deep. It's almost two inches deep. Right. It's our True Glide nonstick, so it's gonna be super easy to clean. It goes up to 430 degrees, so you could even get a nice That's sear. high, normally That's they're high. like, normally they're 400, so yeah, that gives I've you that extra. Yeah, 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with that clear glass lid, so if you wanna do some steaming, you can. It also has a little vent right back in the back there. This is that high quality dash, but we shrunk it down. <laughs> So that's really nice because a lot of people don't have extra space. You can caramelize your onions, you can do your sauces. How about if you're entertaining um, and you wanna keep your cheese dip warm so it doesn't get all congealed? What a perfect vessel to plug in and keep your cheese dip, right? So for all the reasons that you love our larger skillets, yeah. grab this one, A, it's like 20 something dollars. It's $21 yeah. for an electric exactly. skillet. I mean, these are normally 50, 60, 70 dollars. It was 29, they dropped it down to 21.95. You know that, like, especially around holiday time or when you're special events and you're like, you know, I, I'd like to make a big queso dip. Sure. And I want it to stay warm. Yes. You can make the queso dip yep. in there and then lower the temperature and Turn use it, use it as a little warming thing. Absolutely. Or if you want to do uh, a spinach and artichoke dip and things like that. Or maybe you're like, you know, it's holiday, like even Thanksgiving, and I wish I had a side dish just for the gravy, just to keep the gravy warm. You could do that. Or you could put, uh, uh, you know, tuna casserole. You could oh, do sure. anything inside here and you never have to touch an oven. And all you have to do is wipe it clean. You can actually unplug the temperature probe and take it over to the sink if you want to yep. just give it a little rinse. But you can see, this is what we call True Glide nonstick. It's a proprietary nonstick to dash. I call it the nonstickiest because it's some of the best nonstick I've worked with. And you can imagine I've seen a lot of nonstick. Right. This stuff just wipes clean. It's almost like you can try and burn into it and it won't work. Yep. Whatever your meal prepping is, maybe you're trying to do a little bit low cal, maybe you're doing keto, maybe you're gluten free, whatever the case sure. is, you want to have this separate little side vessel. This right here, we're actually, we've done our sausage, we've done our shrimp, we're actually going to add in add some, some noodles. raw pasta. And then we've got, you know, a nice and liquidy sauce here, which actually this is just Alfredo sauce with a little Cajun seasoning. Oh my God. Yeah, so this is not locale, but it's going to be nice and easy and it's gonna be right. a healthy meal. And then we'll stir it and then we're gonna put the lid on We're gonna on put it. the lid right and back on And guess what? It is a one pot meal. Yep. I'll just help you out a little Thanks, bit guy. there. I knew, you, I knew you couldn't hang out and I, not do I, something. I have to you, help. It has to be working well, and I, I like that about you. You know me, I'm a restaurant yep. guy. I gotta Absolutely. help with everything. So now we put a lid on that, we put it on low and yep. guess what, we walk away. Exactly. Hey, if you're ordering today comes in black, it comes in this, uh, I think it's called aqua. aqua. Usually. This is yeah. red, this is white. So you have four color choices. And look at the different things we're making in oh here. You gosh, know you I go mean, buy like one of those little frozen pizzas and then you gotta heat an oven up that big. They're the little eight right? inch person. Even your toaster oven is that big, mm -hmm. right? We're cooking the pizza right inside. And it's that deep dish Look too. At it. So we did this, you know, from scratch. Obviously we just bought the dough, but we did a nice deep dish. But a lot of times you can buy those eight inch personal pizzas, pop it on the inside here, and you've got this perfect meal. And guess what I haven't done? I haven't had to turn on my Dude, stove top. You did Chicago there. We did the Chicago deep wow. dish. So look how beautiful that is though. And you can do, I mean, this guy's the limit though. You, this will feed a couple of people, you know? You can oh even take gosh, this little skillet Kelly. to work. Do you want yeah. to take this to work with you? Do you want, want to give this to somebody? To work with me, well, but you yeah, have but the you pizza could. No, think about it. So it, here, here's what. Here exactly yeah. to Kelly's point. Yeah. Let's say you had leftover pad thai, all right, or or, or you had leftover, uh, you know, um, uh, pork fried rice in a container. Bring it. Bring. The, have one of these at work. Bring it to work. Put it in there and just heat it up. It's yeah. so much better. You don't want to microwave oh, that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Put it inside there and then you can heat it up. Look at this this beautiful piece of pizza that we did inside. And you know, you can use boxed pizza, whatever you want. Yeah, they make the eight inch personal pizzas. This is That's an beautiful. eight inch in circumference. We're talking almost two inches in depth. So this is a really deep skillet. You can get a lot of food Delicious. made in here. If you are cooking for one, two, maybe three people, you still are going to have the capacity mm. to be able to do that. Um, at my house, we do a lot of quesadillas because my child eats about Perfect five things. Size. And quesadilla is one of them, right? Yeah. And, and grilled cheese is one of them. Right? Danny was so, the same. Danny, uh, yeah. And I keep- He will go, he will- did it get better? It got a, well, he, he did go to sushi the other night. So yeah, oh, but he's, eight, wow, he's almost 19. Me. Okay. But no, they live for that. He lived for chicken fingers and quesadillas. Okay, so that's, everybody it's keeps normal. telling me it'll get better. It will. I'm like trying not to <laughs> guys veggies, which the Blendtec is great yeah. for, isn't and it? And mac and cheese. That was and mac thing. and cheese he does. Right. I mean, it's like we're raising the same child. But yeah, but it's, it's all things you could make in here. You could make mac and cheese in here. And it's nice because then I have a bigger meal maybe cooking along in my pressure cooker. That is beautiful. Or whatever the case may be. A dozen egg frittata. And this is spinach, this is tomato, this is cheese, this is my wow. breakfast. But a dozen eggs, and I will tell you, 
on the inside of this skillet. Sure, go for it. Cut I got, it. For I, me. I just want everybody yes. to see how this is cooked. So I'm going to go across the middle, and I want you to look how at how is beautiful. That? And I walked away that from is. it. Wow. I did not babysit a frying pan on my stove top. And the bottom, I'll lift that up so you can, can see. And have that beautiful bottom. Look crust. at the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? That is all perfectly, imagine yeah. serving that at that a was brunch. That medium. And you did, and it's one. Little slices. Pan. Yeah. And, and the and nice thing the too is you can turn it down and people can serve themselves and people come later. I mean, it's for $20. It's absolutely kind of a no, no, no yeah. thought, no yeah, thought I, whatsoever. I gotta say, I mean, it's a great gift. Maybe pick one up for you, pick one up for that gift closet. I do like this because it's a removable temperature probe. Now, most often, if you see something that's $20, you know, you can't remove the temperature probe. I can remove the temperature probe. You can see I have high, medium, and low, and the, um, the guide tells you at exactly what temperature those are. So I know when I'm cooking on high, I'm right around 400 to 430 yeah. degrees, which I think is important because I can get a nice sear. But then most importantly, look on the inside of my pan. I just cooked cooked egg, cheese, tomato, spinach. I've got a little bit of that residual left over, natural Watch the oils up. and fats. This is my cleanup. I can take a dry rag, maybe wet it a little bit, but look at the inside wow, we there. Are, we are getting very Just busy. Just completely wiped out. Everybody's clean. going, man, that's the perfect it's size the perfect little size. skillet. Yes. I mean, a lot of you are empty nesters, you know, like, hey, listen, I am, my mom, my mom is and her husband, John. And, and you know what? They don't need to make food. I mean, they don't need an eight quart pressure cooker. They need a little mini skillet. Yep. It would be perfect for them. If you love oatmeal, Meal. If you like, um, you know, uh, the, the cream of wheat or things like breakfast cereals, you could cook that oh, in there as well. In there. Any kind of a stir fry, breakfast, lunch, dinner. What about just a grilled cheese sandwich? It's right? Or, or grilled ham and cheese, grilled oh turkey my gosh. and Swiss, little paninis, um, a couple of fried eggs. Maybe you want to do three or so four slices of bacon. Let's show them if a lot of people come over, you still can put a lot in here. Yeah, look at the muscles. I mean, you don't have to, but look, this is a lot look, of food. Two, two ingredients, right? Muscles yeah. and white wine. Or you could do shrimp and white wine Cheers. or a little bit of garlic. But at the end of the day, look at how easy this meal was. I didn't have to get out a pot, a pan. I didn't have to turn on my stove. I didn't have to heat up my oven. Oh my I didn't even gosh. have to turn on my air fryer. And you know I love a good air fryer. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. really love my eight inch skillet because it can reach for it at all times. That's great, It Kelly. does virtually everything I want it to do. It's simple, it's easy, and it's not, you know, costing me an arm and a leg. When everything nowadays feels like it costs a lot of money. This is, tw all right, $21. You're like, well, guy, I, I still don't have $21. Uh, what about $4.39, all right? If if you want to put it on flex pay, go ahead. Hey, Kevin, you want to, let's make this even, I'm talking to my producer, Kevin. Let's make this even less. How about if we make it $11.95? How about if you get a brand new H credit card, we'll put $10 in your account, make that $11.95? Go for it. I know you're gonna love this. I actually own the Big Dash. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it, but yep. I will be honest, I don't use it it's very big. often. It's big. When my family nice comes big. over, we use it when we do fried chicken. But it's, I mean, the, it's a big one. It's, yeah, it's, it's big. a big, like, yeah. it's like the 30 inch or 20. I don't know what's uh, the no, big. No, it's uh, 16. 16 yes. inch. It feels, it's twice the size. Twice the size. Yes. But it, but it's, it's and, and it's hard to store. This one is the perfect size for everybody out there. Get it home, you're going to love it. Where do you see all the things that we're cooking in here? You, I mean, you, I mean, you can ooh. even unplug. I love being able to unplug that temperature probe. Best and then part. I'm going to use that. That is the best part. That's that white wine That's with the best part seasoning. Right there. So you want to drizzle that over. Oh my it's gosh. nice and lightweight. It's not like you're, you know, picking up a really heavy, clunky electric skillet and trying to it's drizzle. Amazing the sauce elsewhere. Let's show um, them this, ready? Yeah, great so meal for one. Say you get home and you want to have a pork chop dinner and it's just you, or maybe just you and your partner. Sure. Look at what's in here, we'll, we'll, re we'll reveal it for you when we get to our camera shot. Look at how beautiful it's gorgeous. that meal is. And guess what, it's nice and moist. So if you were gonna do that on the stove top or in the oven, it might have dried out because you didn't have this small cooking space, right, where you have the lid. The lid actually keeps the moisture sort of intact and all the moisture drips back into the food itself. We caramelized some onion and we did some apple. You could add a little sage or, you know, oh, you come have on. fun Look with how this. good that looks. What a beautiful meal. I mean, easily split that with someone. What a nice, healthy, you know, you know keto-friendly meal. You know what's nice, too, is the even heat distribution on the bottom. The coil the goes all the way around, yep. so we got caramelization without burning. Yep. And you know, when you do apples and onions, it's really easy to burn it. Yeah, the sugar. That is the absolute perfect color. If you're looking for, like, what's the perfect color for apples and onions yeah. caramelized? Yeah, nice. That is it right there. Look sure. at how beautiful that meal is. A lot of people use this when they just want to fry something. Oh, yeah. Like, let me tell you, the reason that I don't fry... Shallow fry, yeah. I have said the best, the, and this is my opinion again, if you're going to fry a crab cake, 
It's best to deep fry it because it gets even heat all the way around and it gets real crispy. But nobody wants to uh, fill up an entire entire thing of for oil a couple of crab cakes. for a couple of crab cakes. No. Look at this. How perfect is it? So this is about crispy a, fried chicken. This is about a quarter inch of oil in the bottom, which isn't even a third of one of your oil containers. Uh, probably even a fourth of one of your oil containers. And guess what? I don't have to now buy big giant vats of wow. oil. If you want to do a crispy crunchy fry, go ahead and give yourself that quarter inch of oil. Do your fried chicken. Maybe do your a couple of chicken wings or yeah. uh, fried pickles would be great in here, fried green tomatoes, whatever the case is, um, you're gonna love being able to just grab your small skillet and go. Is that cauliflower? Cauliflower rice. So I, a new I, favorite of mine. Uh, what I do, so you know, good. I, I, don't, I, I buy it chopped in the bag, but I, do the, I, the bag. I dry fry it, Yep. and that's what we're gonna do. So we have no oil in here. I'm gonna put this in, in just a little layer, right? And what you wanna do with this, and I'm stealing it because you know, I know how to do it, is pat it down with a spoon or whatever. Let that toast. Unbelievable when you let it toast yeah, up, it, it, it tastes like a grain. So good. Right? Now, I always add a couple of eggs. I always do a cauliflower fried rice. So I would add a couple of, uh, of eggs in there. Totally do too. Yeah, you yeah. can add a little peanut sauce or egg crush makes up it some seem peanut. like It makes it like stir fry. It is. And it's all, it's like no carbs. I mean, there's a few carbs in cauliflower, but those are the, the healthy ones. But at the end of the day, a nice cauliflower fried rice. And then at the end, we just have a little bit of that sauce we can add to it. So, so good. So not only is that keto friendly, but that's low carb. You're getting all your fiber from the veg and it's easy to clean out. I you know go what's back good to too is, is queso. I love doing queso, yeah, queso in, in the mini mm -hmm. because you know that you, you, how much you don't need a you don't need a gallon of queso. Well, even no, if you got like, like ten perfect, people, yeah. even if you have ten people, that's enough queso because people are not going to you know you got other things coming. Perfect for hors d'oeuvres and appetizers. I do. It's funny because uh, 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 Jared's wife Terry hit, uh, um, got me on Facebook last night because she saw a recipe that was similar to the one I do okay. when I did my Christmas party, which is hot dogs, cut them into little one inch pieces put them in maple syrup, and then put them in a slow cooker. And just leave them there. <laughs> and as the, as the sugar starts to caramelize, they turn into these little, like, sweet and savory little hot dogs. Oh, wow. And you serve, like, a spicy mustard with them. Wow. Killer. It's you can't stop I eating it. I believe I have not been invited to one of these said Christmas parties. It was, well, it was our HSN Today party when we just had our HSN I'm Today crew. I'm HSN. Dude, you totally could come over to my party anytime. You know where, you guys yeah, know where I live. That sounds delicious. That's the truth of the matter, though, is <laughs> that you can do all these different things without the mess, without the fuss, without the big giant machine. I love that Dash took our, you know, one of our most popular skillets, which is our 16 inch that you bought probably on a Today special a couple yep. of years ago. And now we've shrunk it down and we've said, here it is, accessible price point, accessible to any sort of living situation, whether you live in a loft apartment, whether this is for a dorm room, whether you got a big yeah, old kitchen, good. but you just have so many big appliances, this is gonna be the one you reach for. This is gonna be that one that you grab for. This is gonna be the one that you're gonna write the review on and yeah. go, wow, I didn't know I was gonna love it so much, but I did. Yum, now let that, that nice? get crispy let on the bottom. Yep. Let it toast up. Yep. And then if you wanted to, as Kelly always says. you got it on high, he's yep. got it on high, which I do. is 430. Yep. We're, well, we're stir frying here. Yep. And if you wanted to add a protein, you could put some shrimp in there. Sure. You could put scallops in there. Remember, those are all high protein, low fat, no carb. Yep. Um, pieces of chicken in there. And you've just made, there's, there's no rice in here. That's cauliflower. It's delicious. And, and you cooked it. Yes. It's not something you got you in went store. Bought, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, and you, when, even when you go to the takeout, you know, the amount of sodium and who yeah. knows what they're cooking with. Like. What is this? A shepherd's pie. What? Yeah, so we did that just for you. I'm you know, my, well, my mom used to make shepherd's yeah. pie oh, all the really? time. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Oh, she gosh. would love this, though. Yeah. It's, Absolutely, it's, it's, because it's small, and it's just her and her spouse, right? So at the end of the day, if it's just for you, if you are constant, maybe you cook a big meal with all the full fat for your whole family, but you have a different eating plan. You have a weight loss uh, program. Maybe you have a, a gluten allergy or a dairy allergy, or you're trying to do less sodium, or you're trying to do less sugar. Wow, that looks you can good. make the different meal in this small skillet while the bigger, you know, skillet or the bigger, um, uh, you know, lasagna pan is in the oven. And he's asking me, can he taste it? And I'd love for you to taste it. Is it good? It's good, right? It's perfect. And you don't need a big giant skillet. You don't comfort need food. to dirty. That's that's it enough food. food. That's enough food easily for four to six people. Four to six people. Easily. Yeah, and that's the thing. If you did something like a casserole, you could absolutely take this with you to work and serve your friends and your family. And look at the look at the little we cobbler that we did it, uh, right here. That we finally did a blueberry cobbler, so we went right through from breakfast all the way through dessert. You can get this. It's $21.95. Don't snooze on this. Yeah, I'm going to buy this it. after work. Yeah, I'm going to. 20 it. bucks. You, I'm buying this after work. Quick. All right. 
Thank you. I'll save you some food. Not the frittata, I'll take the frittata. The food looks amazing. It Between does. that and our and blend, tech blend blender, tech. I've never seen such beautiful food. <laughs> hey, by the way, thank you, Kelly. By the way, um, if you would like to also get one of our amazing mixers, we have a KitchenAid, which is on sale today. It's $3.30 normally. It's $259.98 today. You can get it on FlexPay and... Shipping is free. And you know that machine is, is expensive to ship. So we'll ship it out to you free and we have all the colors available. Um, so grab it while you can. Even that beautiful, I love that mint green. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you all for watching. Yes. Thank you. Thank you to our incredible yes. kitchen staff who's so wonderful and makes such amazing food. <laughs> Stick around because you're gonna be excited. Beekmans are here, so there's gonna be goats and stuff. <laughs> Our first product was soap, and Bath & Body is some of the favorite of our neighbors. Every single Bath & Body product we make is packed with goat milk. And the foundation of every beauty regimen has to start with the way you cleanse your skin. You've got skin cells that cover every inch of your body, and that's why we put the goat milk in every single product we make. It really just is an amazing ingredient. Look at that face. That is Jolene, who is so happy to be here, along with the Beekman boys. My name is Bobby Ray Carter, and welcome, neighbors. So we have two hours. It's